Hi, if you're a home inspector or an electrician, you've probably had this happen to you. You plug in a three light tester and you get one bright light and one dim light. And you wonder, well, is this outlet grounded or is it not grounded? This has happened to me many times over the years as a home inspector. And I've finally done some research and done some experiments to determine what's causing this. And the, what's causing it is something that most people or many people have probably never even heard of. And what you think might be causing the problem is most likely not causing the problem. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to answer both of these things. What is causing it and why what you think might be causing it isn't actually causing it. So this happened to me just the other day at a home inspection and it, I decided to video what was happening. So let's take a look at that and then we'll go from there. I plugged my tester in and I got a dim light. You can see there's something plugged into this outlet, but watch what happens when I unplug it. Look at that, the dim light goes off. Now it shows to be a normally ungrounded receptacle. So what was making the ground light glow? Let's find out. To recreate this, I set up this exact same scenario on my test board. You can see that the hot neutral wires are connected, but the ground wire is not connected. So we know for certain that this outlet or receptacle is not grounded. And yet, when I plug in the tester, the ground light comes on dimly. That tells us that the tester is seeing voltage between the hot and the ground, even though the ground wire is not connected to anything. Now I've got my refrigerator plugged into this receptacle on my test board. Listen, you can hear the compressor running, and if you look up in the corner, you can see that this is drawing about 10 and a half amps. So while the compressor is running, notice that the ground light on the tester is off. And now listen, the compressor just shot off. And look at that, the ground light just came on dimly. That's the phantom voltage that we're talking about. The moment the real current path goes away, that's a low impedance path through the load, the tester starts picking up voltage on the ground prong, even though the outlet is not grounded. Inside most modern appliances, there's something called an EMI filter. EMI stands for electromagnetic interference. EMI filters are designed to reduce electrical noise, both the noise that the appliance might send back onto the electrical system and the noise coming from the electrical system or the grid that could interfere with or even damage the appliance's internal electronics. Part of that filter includes two small capacitors called Y capacitors. These connect from the hot and neutral to the metal chassis of the appliance. Their job is to bleed off high frequency electrical noise through the grounding system. So they're tied directly to the ground prong on the appliance's plug. When the receptacle is properly grounded, that high frequency voltage travels from the appliance chassis down the ground wire in the cord through the ground prong and out the ground wire connected to the receptacle. But the situation that we're interested in is when there is no ground wire connected to the receptacle. Here's what the circuit looks like when the compressor is running. Power flows from the hot to the neutral through the motor and those Y capacitors are still in the circuit, one from the hot to the ground and one from the neutral to the ground. And let me simplify that view. The yellow path shows the current flowing through the compressor. This is the real load. The blue paths are the Y capacitors, which are in parallel with the load. When the compressor is running, that yellow path provides a low impedance return to the neutral. And since it's in parallel with the capacitors, any voltage that tries to build up across the capacitors is drained off through that path. That's why no voltage builds up on the ground prong and the tester shows no ground light. Now here's the same circuit with the compressor shut off. The motor is no longer drawing any current, but the Y capacitors are still there connected from hot and neutral to the ground prong. And here's a simplified version of that same circuit. The only active components left are the Y capacitors. With no low impedance path to pull down the leakage, that yellow line through the load is now gone. So those capacitors begin charging the metal chassis and the ground prong floats up in voltage. It's just enough to fool a high impedance tester and make that ground light glow dimly. That's phantom voltage. Let's go back to the full diagram. The blue line represents the floating voltage as it builds up. Now you can see exactly how it happens. 
I've also measured this using a fluke voltage tester. On one inspection, I measured about 12 volts between the hot and the ground at an ungrounded outlet. So if hot's at about 120 volts, that means the ground prong was floating up to around 108 volts. But this isn't dangerous. These voltages are caused by extremely small amounts of current, typically just microamps leaking through the Y capacitors. It's not enough to power anything and not enough to shock you, but it is enough to make a tester light up and make you wonder what's going on if you don't understand it. So what's the takeaway here? Well, if you plug in your three light tester and you get one bright light and one dim light, then you might think the outlet is grounded while it's actually probably not grounded. What's probably causing that dim light to come on are two tiny capacitors inside a plugged in appliance that are leaking a tiny amount of current towards the ground prong. And if there's no ground wire to bleed off that voltage, then that voltage floats and that causes the dim light to come on. Now to be thorough, I tried to create a poor ground connection because many people online have speculated that the dim light is caused by a poor ground. I put my two ground wires together and used a wire nut very loosely and tried to make as loose a connection as I could. And no matter what I did, I either had that ground light on my three light tester off or completely on. I could not get a dim ground light. So I think that a poor ground connection is not a very likely cause to this situation that we've been discussing. Now, if you plug in your three light tester and you get that dim light, you can always use a multimeter to verify if there is or isn't a ground. But if you're only using that three light tester and you get that dim light, now you know what's most likely the cause. It's a floating ground caused by an appliance, an EMI filter. So while a bad ground connection might be a cause under certain conditions, I think it's very unlikely. In almost every case I've seen, I, I think phantom voltage is the cause of this dim light and not a poor ground connection. So hopefully this video helped clear up the mystery for you. I hope you've learned something. I hope this has been helpful to you. I really appreciate you watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy videos like this, if they're educational for you, please subscribe to my channel so that way you'll be notified as I put new videos out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.